This video will show you how you can change appearances and scenes in your log cabin assembly so you can then render it. Click on apply scenes and then pick a scene from the drop down list as shown. From the design library you can bring in a ground. This is essentially a large extruded square. This is free to move, so we can move it into place by using mates. Right click on the surface and pick mate. Then click on the bottom surface of the cabin. Click OK. Click OK again to stop inserting mates. Rotate the model around until you get your desired view. Right click in the graphics window and choose Edit Scene. Pick a color. This will be the new background color. If you do not like any of the colors available, you can click on Define Custom Colors. Once you have chosen a color, click OK, and then click OK again to exit out of editing the scene. Go to the view settings as shown here. You can add a perspective to this model. This will make the parts that are further away from you appear smaller. Choose Ambient Occlusion. Pick Shadows in Shaded Mode. And if your computer has a graphics card that is supported, you will be able to pick Real View Graphics. I will now unselect these so you can see the changes. Choose the view settings you want to have in your render. If you do not choose these before you start rendering, they will not appear in the final render. Go into Tools and then pick Add-ins. From this list, check the box that says Photo View 360 and click OK. This will load the rendering add-in. Click on the Render Tools tab, then click on Options. Check Dynamic Help. This will help you choose what values you want in the fields below. For example, if you hover your mouse over Bloom Set Point, it will explain what this is and how the number affects this. You can also choose the final render quality. The better the quality, the longer the render will take. Click on OK when you have finished choosing your rendering options. Then click on the preview window. A new window will pop up and it will start showing you a preview of what the render should look like. If you are not satisfied with these results, close the window then adjust the assembly. This one was not centered, so I'm moving the cabin more towards the middle. I am also adjusting the view. Click on the preview window again to see how your modifications have impacted your render. Close this window, and if you are now happy with the results, click on Final Render. This will then begin rendering your assembly.
This could take some time depending on the settings you have picked. Once this render has finished, click on Save Image to save the picture that has been rendered. 